This is a quick guide to the uh, Phineos Federal Paid Leave Calculator built in response to the FFCRA. Um, this is, the first thing you need to do is you need to select a reason. Uh, so these reasons are defined by the, the federal statutes. If you just pick the first one that um, um, is applicable to yourself. So here I'm going to say I've got symptoms and seeking a diagnosis. System comes back with some questions that I need to answer. So, uh, for example, am I a healthcare provider? Um, there might be some exclusions there. Uh, I need to select the size of my company. So I'm going to pick a, a medium sized company there. I'm working full time, 40 hours a week, five days a week. And if I put in uh, an estimate of my weekly wages and calculate, the system comes back with a response. So here we're saying for paid sick leave, uh, it's an eligible decision. Uh, the entitlement will be 80 hours and it calculates my daily benefits, and my maximum benefits based on the, the information I provided. The paid family leave is, is not eligible uh, and that's based on the reason. If we just have a look at the eligibility restrictions, uh, paid family leave is only available uh, when your school or your childcare is not available. Um, if I start again and I say, well, actually, you know, my child's school is closed uh, and I calculate there again, I get a slightly different set of questions. Uh, my child is under 18. I've been in my job for 30 days. I'll pick the same size company. Uh, let's say I'm working part time um, and I'll put in 26 hours and I'll say um, a slightly different amount there. And it comes back with a decision. So for paid sick leave, um, it looks to be eligible, but the benefit has been capped because of the reason. So because I'm caring for my child, it's come back with the capped limits. Um, the paid family leave has also come back this time uh, with a daily benefit and a maximum benefit. And obviously that 12 weeks includes the benefit waiting period. There are some availability restrictions. Um, so it is dependent on FMLA that's been taken. Uh, and obviously it is within the time period of April the 1st through to December the 31st. At uh, any point, I can hit start again, uh, select another reason, enter some different details, and the system will calculate. Uh, there's no storage, there's no logging in. Uh, it just gives you that answer for the federal paid sick leave and paid family leave plans.